Hi, I'm back again. I haven't done an outfit change because I'm actually going to just... I want us to get through this because I want us to understand this concept. So, people, the first thing people always say is insurance doesn't pay. No, insurance doesn't pay. It wants to catch you out. No, I hate insurance. I hate them. They don't want to pay. No. All right. Looking back at the example of if you had your own little burial scheme or my grandmother's burial scheme with her friends. Generally, people, we're not as honest as we like to believe. So the day that, you know, in the burial screen that we talked about where, you know, the 10 friends all contribute money towards uh, paying for somebody's immediate family passing on. Imagine now, um, you know, Uma Zulu, Mam Zulu decides she's very broke and now she's going to make up some story about a child that was staying with her cousins that's actually hers because she wants to claim this five thousand rands and she submits a claim from these friends and they give her this five thousand rands is that fair it's not fair so basically we've addressed something there's dishonesty there is you know it's dishonesty at, at, at the core of it all and somebody making up and misrepresenting information so these are common terms that you start sharing in short term so in that society or burial scheme that mom zulu that wants to now start this trouble she needs to either be told listen we don't deal with people like you you must find another burial scheme but here we don't want your kind or they could have poor those ladies they could have decided to pay they don't know any better and they lose money that the next time somebody has a legitimate uh, death in her family they won't have money because of this one lady who lied so this is the same principle in short-term insurance in insurance that when people misrepresent facts when people lie or are dishonest whether it's at the beginning of the contract or whether it's at the claim stage or it's picked up that this person was or is lying that is why then your insurer will be like no either we're not gonna settle your claim either we're not gonna settle your claim and we're gonna cancel you there could be different repercussions but basically dishonesty and misrepresentation are one of the biggest things that drive people insane because at the end of the day people say no but i wasn't told and no one you know that dishonest mom zulu when they kick her out of the little burial scheme she'll go tell all her friends that they are so mean oh my gosh i can't believe they did it and then she won't actually give the full story to say i lied same with insurance so dishonesty misrepresentation um, and also non-disclosure uh, are things that are not tolerated. 